Welcome to Everything Fear. Today, in celebration of Women in Horror Month, I'm going to be talking about a new horror movie called Black Lake. Hello and welcome to Everything Fear. I'm Kit Tinsley, I'm a horror author, film academic and general horror geek. If you enjoy this video, if you could please subscribe, give us a like and maybe tickle that bell icon to be notified when we upload future content, that would be great, thank you. As I say, today I'm going to be doing a review of a new horror movie called Black Lake. Black Lake is a marvellous work of art. A horror movie that deals with some very, very serious and powerful topics. A film that has many layers. First, a bit about the plot. Arya, a young British Pakistani woman, is an artist. She gets away from the hustle and bustle of city life and goes to stay in her aunt's house in the Scottish wilderness. Her aim is to relax and get on with her art. Her aunt, who has recently returned from a trip to Pakistan, sends her a gift of a red scarf. The scarf, as it turns out, belonged to a young Pakistani woman who was brutally raped and murdered. And then the scarf was draped over her body before being found by someone and sold on to the aunt. Soon Arya and her aunt are suffering from terrible and violent nightmares and begin to suspect that they are victims of a churail. This is an Asian legend of a angry and vengeful spirit brought about by a woman who is killed in a violent manner. And that's all I really want to say about the plot. The movie is the debut feature of KXI, a British filmmaker who not only directed and wrote the movie, but also starred, edited, did the cinematography, and wore many, many hats on the set. The film is beautiful to look at, with direction and cinematography better than some filmmakers who've made over a hundred movies. And this is Kay's debut. Interesting is the choice of t-shirts that Arya wears in some of the early scenes in the movie. She wears a Evil Dead t-shirt quite early on and this is interesting because there are several shots and sequences within Black Lake that remind me of the Evil Dead. There's also an Eraserhead t-shirt and this one is interesting because not only are there some very Lynchian shots and vibes within this whole movie. Pertaining specifically to a Razorhead, one of the things that made that film so unnerving and unsettling was the constant soundtrack and the use of sound. And Black Lake relies heavily on sound to create its tension. Nature and the landscape of both Scotland and Pakistan play a really important part in the film. They become a character within the film. Through her wonderful cinematography, Kay shows us the beauty and terror within nature and in the world around us. Culture plays a big part in this movie. Now, from the cool t-shirts and her general style we see in the movie, we as the audience know that Arya is not going to wear the red scarf in its traditional manner. Even though it is part of her culture, she is somehow removed from it. There is, as Kay herself says, an element of cultural appropriation in not knowing where something really comes from. Her aunt dreams that her hands are covered in blood. The similarity to Lady Macbeth in Shakespeare is quite clear. The aunt feels guilty for helping someone to profit from this girl's death. The film was inspired by the tragic case of Jyoti Singh. In fact, the movie is dedicated to her. Jyoti was a 23-year-old student who was beaten, gang-raped, tortured and murdered on a bus in Delhi in 2012. This horrendous crime got Kay thinking about how here in the West, even for women from that culture, it is easier to report these sort of crimes. Looking into the case, she saw that this was far from an isolated incident, but that very rarely do they even get mentioned in the press. She acknowledged that although similar cases do happen in this country, there is the opportunity to take the appropriate action to see those responsible held to account. In this country, and in the West generally, women have a voice. Voice and sound play a really important part in this film. The Chirail struggles to communicate as her spirit is drenched in violence. 
Arya has to listen to the sounds around her to try and interpret the Jirail's meaning. There are no easy answers in this film, but there is a strong and powerful message. With her strong direction and cinematography, KXI makes the audience work to get to that message. So in conclusion, a fantastic looking and sounding movie, which contains a powerful message which is released to the audience in a steady and controlled way. I personally cannot wait to see what KXI brings us next. I will be interviewing K in the coming weeks for the channel, so if you want to know more, stay around for that. Well, thank you very much for joining us, and until next time, stay scared and stay tuned.